thousand people had gathered outside, and more deputies on horseback and on foot tried to keep the crowd away from the doorway. Frenzied parents kept trying to push through, and above the crowd noise could be heard voices of mothers and fathers calling out the names of their missing children. The decision was made to transport the bodies to the village hall because there was no morgue large enough for so many victims. Fifty automobiles were used to transport the bodies for the one block as the assembled residents watched in two cordons along Elm Street. At the village hall, the bodies of the 73 victims, 59 of whom were children, were laid out on four long tables and then on the floor. At that point, and only at that point, the parents were allowed to look for their children and some of them took the bodies of their children home that night. Before ending today's ceremony, I would like to thank Mr. Torstela and our other dignitaries, Dr. Langton and Reverend Res Langseth for being here. I also want to thank the Turco Finland Wind Band for providing the music today, the Junior ROTC from Calumet High School for their presence, and Major Mike Farley for his assistance. Thanks too to the National Park Service, especially Tom Baker, for planning this event and preparing the Italian Hall photo display at the Village Hall. Thanks also to Paul Leto and Calumet Township, as well as to Sue Dana and Steve Kello from our village government for making today's ceremony possible. Our ceremony is now concluded. The Turco Wind Band will now lead us in procession to the Calumet Village Hall, where there is a memorial display of photos taken of the Italian Hall and of the Christmas Eve tragedy. For those of you who wish, please join us.